What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and today I wanted to hop into some of the body skincare items that I've been enjoying that have been some favorites, as well as some items that just do not irritate me. I thought I would do this video because many of you all enjoy some of my recent videos that talked about some of the body care and skincare essentials that I thought you should have in 2020. Working on yourself is giving back to yourself, it's self-care, it's gonna help to boost that self-esteem, that self-confidence, help you feel better about yourself, and that's a win over Ball. But also y'all know I've had my ups and downs with my skin. So I've had the Hydratinitis Superativa that's gotten much more mild over the years. My bouts of mild eczema, as well as the significant weight loss that I've maintained for years now. Now my skin has seen some things and I like to spend much of my own coin on my products so that I can honestly report back to you guys on things that have worked for me and those that really haven't. And today loves, we're gonna travel to the love below where we're gonna talk just a little bit more about some feminine hygiene items that I'm using that are working for me right now. But I also wanna hear from you. What are some of the items that you're using that have worked best for you? Is there anything from my list that you're trying? What I also realize is there's some of those things that do not work for everyone, and that's okay as well. None of us have the same needs, but it's nice to discuss what works and what doesn't. And you can find all items down below in that good old description box. All right, y'all, let's get into this. And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information. So let's first get into these new body cloths I found, y'all. Now these are by Cora, and they're 100% bamboo body cloths. They're infused with coconut oil, lavender essential, essential oil, aloe vera, chamomile water, and red raspberry leaf. They're pH balanced, very soft, cleansing, and moisturizing. They have no glycerin, fragrance, alcohols, parabens, sulfates, dyes, or even bleach because honey, some of them have bleach. It's hot outside, you get to wipe behind your neck, behind your ears. If it's that time of the month, you can keep that area nice and clean and fresh. And not only that, with things that are not toxic or harmful, to you. I also keep them on me. I keep them in my bag or wherever I go. They also add to that fresh feeling without the unnatural fragrance and give me an overall balanced feeling as well. And I'm so happy that I gave these a try. And the whole reason why was because the ones I normally buy were out. So when I bought these, I was totally satisfied. I guess we've reached more girl talk portion because your girl is loving Uber Lube. Yes, Uber Lube. And you can get your mind out the gutter because while it is used for grown folk business, it can also be used for massage oils as well as cutting down on friction that comes from chafing on areas of the body. So it's a multi-use lubricant. It's doctor recommended and will not harm healthy bacteria or affect pH levels. It's also used by OBGYN practices and it doesn't harbor that outside yeast, bacteria, or mold. And one place that I really like to use it is between my thighs, especially during the hot months when it's rubbing together where it can cause friction or cause issues. And for those of you all that are familiar with HS, you know that that can aggravate it. So I really like to put that there in order to calm that friction and to make things real simple, easy, and slidey. Overall, it's a blessing. Y'all, one of my reigning supreme feminine hygiene products right now is the Honey Pots Lavender Refreshing Panty Spray. Now y'all, when I say it's bomb, it's bomb. Y'all know that I've always loved their wash for my precious lamb, but now this panty spray is no different. It's black owned, I've met the amazing owner. It's made without harmful chemicals or artificial fragrances. It helps to eliminate odor and the lavender keeps you calm and refreshed throughout your day. And y'all know I love about a good 10 in one product. It can be used on panties, underarms, feet, and even shoes. It leaves you with that fresh feeling without the frills and the fluff that lead to eventual possibly fish odor. And it's not perfumey at all. So if that's what you're looking for, that's not what you're gonna get here. It's a refresher. And y'all, I just carry it in my bag with me if I'm gonna be away and it's heaven, but it gives you like a nice natural refreshing scent and feeling. So y'all, as far as my pits go, I am still rocking with native deodorant. It's been one of the best ones I've tried yet and it does exactly what I needed to do. And I'm happy 
to say that I partnered with them to bring you guys today's video. Native deodorant is filled with ingredients found in nature, which makes it one of the best choices for me. They have shea butter for moisturizing as well as coconut oil for antimicrobial properties. It's formulated without aluminum, parabens, and sulfates and they have all the amazing classic scents for both men and women. They include coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, cucumber and mint, and eucalyptus and mint. Y'all, I still go hard for my lavender and rose scent, but now they've sent me some new ones, and those are pretty darn good as well. I've also had the chance to start trying out their body wash, which has been really good as well, and it leaves me really clean and soft without leaving a film. And even though I'm bouncing all over the place, even inside the house, it keeps me dry throughout all those Zoom calls and my workouts and more. It's vegan and cruelty free. And the website is super simple to use. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link, Baby Doll 2, you'll receive them for only $24. That's 33% off. Y'all, while we talking being and staying clean, I also love my Yay Organics hand sanitizer. And that's yet another black owned health company. It's 99.9% .9 effective. Can we talk about that? It's naturally moisturizing and it leaves my hands feeling soft. And I bought many bottles for different people and they always comment on how moisturizing it is and it doesn't leave their hands feeling like a chapped brick. The lemon scent is great as well and it just feels fresh and clean. I also love that it's an spray bottle, which to me makes it a little bit more hygienic, easy to use, carry with you, and also share with others if needed. And that's the great thing about that little spray bottle. I didn't know how convenient that was until I had it. So you might want to check that out. My favorite oil right now is sweet almond oil and y'all I keep a lot around. Y'all know that I love to formulate my own oil mixtures. I love all things oils and different things that you can put together and butters and all of that. But almond oil is one of those ones that I actually like to use by itself after moisturizing. It's great for so much y'all and it seems to have worked wonders for my skin over the years. It helps with things like reducing irritation, UV damage, and it's also said to help reduce stretch marks. It calms inflammation and it also helps with hydration. It also gives my skin this nice plump feeling and also gives it a conditioned feeling without leaving it with clogged pores. So almond oil is definitely one of my faves right now. My next slept on find that I included in one of my recent hygiene videos is the Mederma Quick Dry Oil. Y'all know Mederma is the number one skincare for scars. And the reason why I really like it is because when I first started using it back in the day when I had surgery, just the creams, they were really awesome. So I have the night cream, I have the day cream with the 30 SPF, and I've always been satisfied with the results that I've gotten from it, even just from putting it on acne marks and things of that sort. So I was super hyped when I saw that they had the quick dry oil. It's great for stretch marks, uneven skin tone, and even dry skin. I've been using it more specifically for bug bites because they just love to eat me. It's fast absorbing, it's mineral oil free, and it's fragrance paraben and dye free. I found out that this came out as a competitor to bio oil, and I've tried bio oil in the past. I wasn't quite as enthused by it. However, the thing that's different with the Mederma oil is it's been tested and it's found to absorb better and more completely than the bio oil. This Mederma oil, putting it on as one of the last things, it's still absorbs into my skin without leaving me greasy and sliding all over the place. So I love having the extra protective layer. So y'all, one of my favorite new moisturizers comes from another black owned company, Cultured Naturals, and it's their whipped body butter. Y'all, I have the orange rind and passion fruit and it smells so good. Not only does it just smell good, but it nourishes you. It has things like coconut oil, shea butter, olive oil, a vitamin E. It's a silky body butter and it deeply penetrates and moisturizes the skin. And what I noticed is that it easily soaks into my skin. When I use it, I feel like I'm away at a spa somewhere. And it leaves me hydrated and smooth. And I feel really connected to this company because I know the owner. She's amazing. She puts her all into her work and it's a family owned business. And another moisturizer I'm enjoying is the Dynamic Do All by Shine and Jam. I received this as a sample years ago and I have been hooked on and off ever since. It goes very well with hair and on the skin. The shea butter in the product helps to reduce frizz in the hair and provide the hair with moisture. And it has hydrating emollients, which helps to penetrate rough, dry skin. I like the light scent and that I can use it across my body and that it's thick and moisturizing, but it doesn't leave me greasy. And the scent is really nice 
nice and calming as well. It has jojoba oil, water, and shea butter as some of the main ingredients. But y'all, it does have some mineral oil, but I had to school myself and learn some things about that. And I always say use what works for you, not just what I say or what anyone says, but what works best for your body. Mineral oil helps to keep the skin hydrated by also locking in moisture. And from the research and the things that I found out, it's actually considered safe and rarely causes irritation or allergic reaction. But again, everybody is different. So you'll either want to patch test or find out what you're allergic to before using it. But I really do like this and the price point makes it even more attractive. As a refresher and a toner, y'all, I'm also enjoying the Cultured Naturals Rose Water Face Mist. It's refreshing and easy to use. It has a nice scent to it. And I also love to use it on my body if I catch any irritation to the skin. Rose water has been really good to my skin in terms of getting those bug bites and things like that if I wanna reach for something really quickly to keep me from scratching. And I love this rose water mist for that as well. Or for any time that I get any nicks or scratches or razor burns or any irritation other than that on my legs or my arms or my body, it really Really does help to soothe that. So it's also a great option. My other gray toner that I use mainly on my face and decollete and neck, but also all over, is the Eminence Stone Crop Hydrating Mist. Y'all, I waited to tell y'all about this and I've been using it since Christmas and I love it. The main point is to reduce hyperpigmentation on the neck and the face area. It has stone crop, bearberry, calendula, green tea, and more. And it's organic, natural, and sustainable. It's free of parabens and sulfates and it just helps my skin feel at ease overall. Now this is the priciest thing on this list, but it lasts for a long time and it does work very well. Let's get into some of the exfoliators I'm really liking. And one of them has been the Tree Hut Vitamin C Sugar Scrub and it smells so good y'all. But not only that, it's really creamy, it's really formulated really well. And the vitamin C and the alpha hydroxies within it really does help to cut down on the discoloration and those dark marks and things of that sort to give you that smoother, soft filling skin. Now I recently had this in a video about my hygiene routine and I've been using it for a while now and I actually really like how it feels on my skin. I like that it's not too rough but it also gives me the amount that I need of the exfoliation in order to get the job done. And not only that but the price is on point like seven dollars on point and there's so much within a container. And it's made with pure shea butter to help smooth out the skin. Avocado, sweet almond, and macadamia seed oil to all help stop dryness and to give the skin a nice glow. I do like it for right now, but the jury is still out, but it is treating me pretty well for now and we'll see how that goes. So an old favorite has popped back up during this time that we've been in the house and I think I have been sleeping on it once again, but I really do still love this. I have been using it still on my face and it's the Aero Organics Revive and Microdermabrasion Facial Scrub and Body Exfoliator. And I love that this one is formulated for sensitive skin. It's cruelty free, paraben free, alcohol free and non-toxic. It contains organic aloe vera, walnut, and powerful vitamin C. And this helps to protect the skin from free radicals and also slow down their premature aging. It doubles as an exfoliating scrub, but also as an anti-aging mask. And who doesn't love a product that does many things? And y'all, I couldn't leave without saying something about the feet. We got to keep the feet together. So I really have been loving my Zentos gel socks. And these moisturizing heel socks have gel infused within them to cut down on those crusty heels. The gel lining helps with softening. They feel amazing and so comfortable and they're easy to sleep in and they help to restore that moisture and help to keep that in overnight. But I also love the fact that they come with two pair in a pack. The price is very inexpensive and for as long as they last you, I really think it's a deal. And I promise you guys in some upcoming videos, I'm gonna talk more about my sun protectors. You all know that I've been rocking with Neutrogena. Nothing wrong with it because some of y'all asked me that in my last hygiene video, but I just wanted to try some new ones and more specifically find a black owned one. So the one that I really like right now is Sun Bum and I had been using that in between time, but I found that it's vegan, it's cruelty free, also it's non greasy and it's not clogging up my pores. It's a 50 SPF on both the lotion as well as the spray and it leaves a nice coating on my skin without leaving it extra, like I said, greasy or heavy or thick. So I do like the Sun 
sun bomb right now and I just ordered the black girl sunscreen so I'll be talking to you guys about that as soon as I'm able to really try it out for a while so y'all I hope today's video has been beneficial and there's some products in there that actually you would like or that you've tried or that you enjoy and even if they're not ones that you enjoy let us know some of the ones that you do like some of the ones that you have been using I really love to hear from you guys but overall remember that keeping a consistent plan and a consistent process for your body is the only way to get the results that you want so make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe Thanks so much for watching, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.